Number 10. Mask of the Bat God Here is the Mask of the Bat God, an ancient jade mask that depicts a bat god from the old Zapotec culture that was recently found inside the insanely well-preserved pyramids at Monte Alban, in the state of Oaxaca in Mexico. The jade mask may look like a jaguar, but it really represents a bat. Keep in mind that the place where it was found, Monte Alban, was once the heart of the enormously powerful Zapotec civilization. Archaeologists and scholars disagree slightly as to what the purpose of the mask served when it was originally created between 100 BC and 200 AD, but everyone agrees it portrays a bat. The mask itself is crafted out of 25 different pieces of jade, one of the most highly valued stones in any Mesoamerican civilization. The mask also has yellow eyes made from the fragments of shells. Considering its age, the mask is in fantastic condition. The mask is currently on display at the National Museum of Anthropology, located in Mexico City. But what about the meaning behind the mask? Well, bats were very symbolic to the Zapotec civilization. Because the animal had wings, lived in caves, tombs, and even temples, the Zapotec associated them with the underworld. So, they made a bat god the protector of the sacred world of the dead, ruling over their ancestors who roamed throughout the underworld. Number 9. Mummy with a Gold Tongue Something very strange has just been found in Egypt. A mummy has been discovered with a particularly bizarre artifact inside of his mouth. This mummy had a tongue of gold, and archaeologists just found it at an ancient site in Egypt called Taposiris Magna. The mummy lived about 2,000 years ago, and the Egyptian Antiquities Ministry recently claimed in a statement that they believed the embalmers placed the golden tongue into the mouth of the mummy after death to ensure that the deceased person would be able to speak properly once in the afterlife. The thing is, it was widely believed that when a person died, they met Osiris, the Egyptian god of the underworld. But if for whatever reason the person couldn't speak, they would be unable to talk to the god. Therefore, this mummy could have had a speech impediment or some kind of ailment that prevented them from talking. In order for the mute person to speak with Osiris in the underworld, he was given a golden tongue in death. This is one of the most bizarre artifacts ever found inside an actual mummy, as normally their organs are placed inside of jars. This guy must have been extremely wealthy for his family to stick a golden tongue in his mouth and bury him with it. Have you ever visited the pyramids of Egypt, or seen a sarcophagus or a mummy in real life? What was it like? Tell me about it in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already to get more awesome and intense videos just like this one. Number 8. King Tut's Camping Bed Everyone is familiar with King Tutankhamun, or King Tut for short. He was the infamous pharaoh who ruled Egypt over 3300 years ago. And one of the most interesting and recent discoveries related to this man is his camping bed. This artifact was originally found by a British archaeologist named Howard Carter when he entered the king's tomb back in 1922. The camping bed is a small artifact, a unique piece of furniture that was remarkably comfortable for its time. It had an elegant design and was crafted using sophisticated technology. And even though it was originally found in 1922, it wasn't until just recently that studies were done on this artifact to see what it was used for. According to the report from Live Science, the bed folded into a Z-shape using an ingenious mechanism. Basically, this thing was the original futon, and King Tut would have used it for taking naps wherever he wanted. The bed had hinges, the woven mat that the king laid on was insanely comfortable, and he probably took it with him on hunting trips. This isn't super surprising, considering King Tut is known to have suffered from malaria, and he had a club foot. This means he had to use a cane, and the camping bed was probably necessary when he went on long hunts or any other expedition where he could get exhausted very easily. Number 7. Fossils in the Petrified Forest A very cool fossil has recently been found in a petrified forest that dates back 220 million years. This fossil is a surprising new specimen that lived during the Triassic period. It was found in Petrified National Forest Park in 2019, and according to the paleontologist who discovered it, 
It's one of the rarest types of fossils ever found in the western United States. The paleontologist's name is Ben Klingman, and he found a tiny jaw fossil less than an inch, about 2 centimeters in length. How someone even finds such a tiny fossil is a mystery to me, but it's cool nonetheless. He named the fossil Katijidodon venitus, which translates from Greek as blue thunderstorm tooth. He named it after Thunderstorm Ridge, the area where he discovered the fossil. But what about the animal? Apparently, the tiny jaw fossil that was discovered once belonged to an animal about the size of a chipmunk, but far more ferocious than any chipmunk or squirrel you've ever seen. It's known as a cynodont, and paleontologists still aren't sure if the creatures had fur or not. These critters were small. They would have easily been mistaken for a rat or chipmunk or hamster. But the big difference is that they didn't have ears. Rather than ears, these weird animals had only holes in the sides of their skulls, just like reptiles do today. Of course, considering how small this creature was, it mainly feasted on prehistoric insects. Number 6. The Southern T-Rex Let's move to a slightly bigger archaeological discovery, and several million years newer. I'm talking about a new Tyrannosaurus, closely related to the legendary Tyrannosaurus rex that was recently found in Alabama. This creature lived 77 million years ago in what is today the southern United States, primarily in Georgia and Alabama. It was found by three scientists, including David R. Schwimmer, a paleontologist from Columbus State University. Their new dinosaur is more primitive than any other Tyrannosaurus that lived at the same time. But other than that, not a lot is known about the dinosaur. The thing is that the fossils have been around since the 1980s, but nobody had a name or classification for the animal. It wasn't until recently when these three scientists got together that they figured out that they were looking at a new species, and named it the Appalachiosaurus montgomerensis, meaning the Appalachian lizard from Montgomery. In fact, the name of this new dinosaur has been recognized by the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology. As a cousin of the T-Rex, this Alabama dino was smaller, it had a shorter snout, it boasted more primitive features, and it had a less developed brain. Basically, it was not as mentally sharp, and it was weaker. But it would turn into the ultimate king of the dinosaurs in the Cretaceous period. Number 5. The Six-Headed Chief one of the biggest archaeological mysteries going on right now is who is sitting in the tomb of the Six-Headed Chief. A bizarre grave was recently found in Scotland, holding some pretty interesting medieval remains. The reason the remains are so interesting is because they are surrounded by five heads. It's one skeleton in a grave, with its skull circled by five others. DNA analysis has shown that the skulls belonged to members of the skeleton's family. Researchers now know that one of the skulls belonged to the man's son, one was his uncle, another was his nephew, and the others may have been his father and mother. This individual was buried sometime between the late 13th century and the early 15th century, and what's truly fascinating is that placing disembodied skulls inside of another person's grave was unheard of for that time in Scotland, at least according to an archaeological specialist working on the project. Back in the Neolithic and Bronze Age, body parts were mainly used for worship, but whatever is going on with this person is something altogether new. Harvesting the graves of parents and other family members is as unusual as it gets, and until scientists are able to figure out the identity of this six-headed chief, they are at a standstill. What we do know is that the man died from an extreme act of violence. After inspecting his skull, Researchers from the University of Bradford discovered that a brutal blow from a weapon had cut away part of his face. Why this happened, or who the man was fighting, is still a mystery. Number 4. Mysterious Underwater Monolith The next amazing archaeological discovery was found underwater. A Stonehenge-styled monolith has recently been found inside the Mediterranean Sea and it dates back over 9,000 years. This thing was discovered off the coast of Sicily, roughly 130 feet or 38 meters deep. It was definitely made by human hands, and the first estimates placed its weight at around 15 tons. The monolith has been broken into two parts, with each part made from local stone. 
According to archaeologists working on the project, the area in which the monolith was found flooded roughly 9,300 years ago, meaning the monolith had to have been built before this area was underwater. Here's why this discovery is so important and also mysterious. Researchers still don't know which civilization built it. Most of the prominent civilizations in the Mediterranean didn't rise to power for several thousand years after this monolith was constructed. But here's what else. These recent findings are proving that our primitive ancestors had more sophisticated technology than we previously thought. They may not have only been hunters and gatherers. They were also builders. They may have only constructed monoliths out of stone, but it's still pretty impressive. This is especially true when you remember that Stonehenge was built 5,000 years after this submerged structure. Number 3. Mona Lisa's Remains It's widely believed that a woman named Lisa Gherardini was the model for Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, the Mona Lisa. However, the mystery surrounding this woman is enormous. New archaeological evidence has emerged after researchers investigated the remains of several bodies found buried beneath the Sant'Orsola convent in the Italian city of Florence. The researchers are now saying that they have found the body of the world's most famous model. One of the bodies investigated dates back to the exact time that Lisa Gherardini died, leading them to believe that they finally found the wife of the Florentine silk merchant who passed away in 1542 at the age of 63. There are even records indicating that she was buried somewhere within this historic convent. This may not be super exciting to everyone, but if you're an art enthusiast, this is big news. This is as important to art historians as finding the tomb of Cleopatra is to Egyptologists. But, of course, not everything is perfect. There were only a few remains tested, with no skull found. This means that the face of the woman who may be the model for the Mona Lisa can't be digitally reconstructed using new reconstruction techniques. Researchers are confident, but as of yet, there is just not enough DNA to 100% verify that this is in fact the body of Lisa Gherardini. Number 2. Egyptian Hairstyles Hairstyles have changed over the years. Just take a look at the photographs of your parents in the 80s or 90s compared to the hairstyles of today. Hair is always changing, just like fashion. In fact, hairstyles have been changing for thousands of years. Thanks to the preservation of some Egyptian skeletons, we now have a pretty fascinating idea of what the old Egyptian hairstyles looked like. Researchers working inside of an ancient cemetery in the old Egyptian city of Amarna have recently discovered several individuals with different hairstyles still intact. One such woman was found buried with an elaborate hairstyle that used 70 different hair extensions, all attached to her scalp with different layers and different heights. She would have looked absolutely crazy when she was still alive. Plus, this woman had her hair dyed. Not only was her hair dyed, but it was dyed a bright orangish red color, which had been done using a plant called henna may. Basically, extensions and hair coloring are nothing new. The Egyptians were doing it way before people on TikTok. And according to the huge variety of hairstyles found in the Egyptian city of Amarna, the Egyptians were doing it way better. Number 1. Tomb of the Serpent Jaguar Priests The last archaeological discovery today is a big one. We're looking at the tomb of the Serpent Jaguar Priests, which were recently uncovered in Peru after being lost for 2,700 years. It was found in the Cajamarca region of Peru, containing the remains of two high-ranking priests from the ancient Pacopampa culture who existed before the Inca. Within the tombs were elaborate grave goods, including a necklace with gold beads, a black ceramic bottle shaped like a serpent with a jaguar head, and several colored pigments that had been dumped inside the tomb, including cinnabar and malachite. And while the meaning of the colored pigments is still a mystery, the truth of the priests is not. First of all, the priests had elongated craniums, meaning that they must have been elite members of the ancient society. The way their bodies were buried is also quite fascinating. They were both buried in the fetal position, with one priest facing north and the other priest facing south. 
They were buried near a large, square courtyard that would have been used in public meetings and important ceremonies. It's believed that the priests may have been buried in such a way as to continue presiding over the important activities of the local people, even after death. Which of these archaeological discoveries amazed you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. Be sure to come back soon for another amazing archaeological video. Thank <laughs> you.